it's not something you associate with blackness or with black culture in any regard, right? Even the minifigure culture, the standard yellow minifig where they started, still is almost like, you know, synonymous for white. And for me, I'm just like, well, when I'm gonna make my art, it's definitely gonna be black art. number one question that comes to me when people engage my work is what's this made of and then it's Lego Lego and then you know there's this kind of surprise and shock and that to me is actually pleasing my name is Echo Namako I'm a visual artist a sculptor a Lego artist yeah you caught me as I was actually just extending her hair because I figured I'm like I felt like she should have long hair and I mean as a father that has daughters, you know, I'm used to doing my daughter's hair when they were really young. Growing up, whether I was playing with Lego or watching cartoons or movies or comic books, representation was always an issue. And, you know, when you're young, you don't really understand that. You know, you're surrounded in whiteness, basically, with everything you consume. So when it comes to my art, it was very important for me to reflect myself, my, my, my people, my experiences, and creating bold, um, powerful, magically imbued children, melanin-rich children, you know, that's, that's, that's amazing to me in seeing that because I'm trying to also fill a void. Because like having the locks is really important to just add that extra ethnic quality to the sculptures. I use like st steel, metal wire, and the Lego just slides right over it. And sometimes I use like the same kind of thing with this kind of hair. My technique is always like improving and changing as like Lego parts get rolled out, new parts give me like new direction and new ideas, breed new kinds of innovation. So it's always like a, a, a process of discovery. For me, it was important to create um, and stylize a hero in the image of a young black warrior. And most of the times when you think about the monuments you see, old white men on horses, you know, being very heroic, they carry a lot of colonial baggage, you know, and the question of who are our heroes comes into play. So seeing young kids that just, they're, they're awe, you know, just, they're, they're, eyes wide and, and taking this in. And I know for a fact they haven't seen anything from Lego that was built this way, you know? And it makes me kind of reflect on my own childhood and think if that was me and I was seeing this, how would I react? And I would have lost my mind. Mm -hmm.